Uh. Hey people, Rio and Wolf here. Uh, last couple of days I've been kind of busy and I've been looking into uh, ACDC. ACDC has always been a band that's like for me, uh, when, uh, when I would have to put like five bands on the top five list of rock and roll, ACDC would definitely be under the top five, maybe even, maybe even the first one, top one. And uh, I'm not the only one that's uh, thinking about ACDC this way. Like it's kind of the greatest rock and roll band that's ever existed on this planet. And there's good reasons for that. So in the last couple of days, I've been kind of looking a bit deeper into a couple of their songs. Um, and obviously, you know, I've always been listening to um, ACDC songs. I've always loved them. But from time to time, you know, it's good to just pick an artist and take a really close look. Uh, like kind kind of like a microscopic um, examine of what they're doing, and I've been um, studying the Angus part, uh, the Angus Young parts. Um, I even found a couple of play-alongs on YouTube. So here, yeah, let's let's start with the Thunderstruck. Now, I want to tell you why these things are so, why I think they are so awesome, and it might not be um, what you might be thinking of. Thunderstruck starts off with this kind of lick right here. Well, let me do up the play along, maybe. Two, three, four. So yeah, let me stop right there. Um, obviously, that's this awesome arena feeling um, um, rock intro. Like this is one of the greatest rock intros ever. On the recording, this lick would um, you would hear it all throughout the song, but um, you got to listen to the live concerts of uh, if you want to know what uh, what Angus Young is really going to play when he plays that song live, and. At a certain point, he stops playing that lick and he goes into playing rhythm, uh, some riffs, which I can show you later on. But why is this lick here so, why is it so awesome? Um, this is a great etude if you want to practice um, just alternate picking. A lot of people just play like this. You know, with the pull-offs. Um, you can do it like this and you can actually see Angus Young doing it like that, but he is doing that as kind of like a, you know, as a show element, um, as a performance element. He might raise his arms and do something like this. You know, that's just for show. That's not because it sounds better. If you really want to have that sound, that rhythmical alternate picking, you got to do alternate picking right here. And um, it just make it just gives that lick that drive. You know, if I would just play with the legato. It sounds cool too, but if you play it with alternate pick, and I, I would uh, recommend that you start off like this. You just, just pick it like that. You know, you got really got to get into the rhythm. Maybe just let that hi hat. Oh, you know, just listen to that hi hat. Chaka, chaka, chaka. And obviously, I'm not on. Um, I'm timing wise, I'm playing it correctly, but not at the right place, obviously, because I wouldn't I'd need a count in for do that. I don't have that with the play along right here. But uh, for the point I'm trying to make, you know, just um, it's all, it's about the rhythm. As cool as these notes, as cool as these high notes are here, um, it's not so much about these high notes as it's about the right hand, in my opinion. If you don't get that down, this lick is just not going to sound as cool. Um, let me try again to play that thing here from the beginning. Oh. <laughs> 
Let's just go to there. And you could see me, I was really trying to keep the groove. I was really listening to the hi-hat, be tight with the band, be tight with the drummer. And even though this is a lead lick, like there's no question about it. It's in a high register, you know, you're playing it, you're playing high notes. Um, they're even above the vocals. And um, still, I'm not seeing myself as when I'm playing that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see myself as accompanying the band you know I'm just trying to make a really good rhythm if you want to learn more about how to get really good at playing rhythm I recommend go to my patreon check out um, my rhythm guitar course that I'm doing there um, right now I'm building it up there's going to be one video coming each week and there's different options obviously that you can choose on my patreon it's fundamental stuff if you really want to get good and you want to get um, kind of, what's the word? If you want to get unreplaceable in a band as a guitar player, you got to get good at rhythm guitar playing. I said this again, I'm going to say it again because just it's just the truth. So here, you know, cool lick, cool notes. I couldn't care less about the notes, about the scale. For me, it's all about the right hand. And sure, if I'm gonna play this live, I'm not gonna stick to playing alternate licking because then there's performance elements, you know? You want, you just wanna rock, you just wanna give a good performance, give some eye candy for the crowd. Um, but when playing um, in a rehearsal session or um, just for yourself, make this a habit being really precise with the rhythm. It's about the right hand more than it's about left hand. Of course, it's the synchronous. <clears throat> they both have to be synchronized, obviously. And then you um, listen to the vocals and then at a certain point, you, end, uh, you start playing that lick and he goes into this. <laughs> You could notice that when I was just playing to that play along. It's just so much fun, this riff. And that's the thing about ACDC. Um, it's, that's probably the reason why they're so successful because it's just so much fun to play these licks. Simple power chords, but it couldn't be more genius. It's like, it's just the right thing to play at that point. There's, it's just so genius, man. Like I can't fathom how there's so many riffs and licks in, in ACDC that you hear them and you just think, yes, that's just what what needs to be, you know? There's nothing else that could replace that part that's been uh, made up for that song. A good example 
is back in black. You know, you got this riff that's pretty awesome. <laughs> And as if this riff wasn't like genius enough with this cool uh, little lick right here and then this you know how genius is that but then the chorus comes and he plays Oh man, it goes to the four, right? Because we are in E. It goes to the four. I, I, I can't explain why, why this is so genius, you know? It, it's just, uh, it's like a modulation in a song, but it's just so, it's what I said uh, earlier. It's, it sounds as if it just meant, if it, if it was just meant to be like that. You know, I can't fathom it, man, man. And when you play chords like that with ACDC, it's always cool to really dig into those strings. You know, I'm, I'm not just playing it. Um, I'm really trying to get that, that ring going. See with that G chord right here, kind of covering all the thirds. So I'm not playing this one right here because I'm covering it with that finger. So the, the third is not ringing. This is basically a power chord, the G chord right here. You know, you're not hearing this note and you're not hearing this note like that. No, it's like that. Tiny little things, but that's what ACDC is about. It's about the details in that music. You know, when you play an A, yeah, sure, you could do it like this. But then you got, again, you got your third. And often you can hear Angus or Malcolm doing chords like this. Or, um, what's that song? Um, Shook Me. Again, the thing with the third, you know, he's playing a standard C chord right here. But you're not hearing this one. Because with that one, it sound like this. You know, that's not so cool as... Why isn't he playing it like this? You know? Because it's just cool with open strings. There's a lot more ringing, there's a lot more happening. More overtones with open strings, right? Uh. Cool lick I want to show you, and again, it's about the rhythm. I know Angus Young is considered to be the lead guitar player, but um, it's true, of course, he is like the coolest lead guitar, guitar, uh, rock and roll lead guitar player um, in history, one of the coolest. But um, you have to get the rhythm down. You know this, uh, this one right here. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm trying to get that swing in there. Listen to the record. He's not playing um, straight 16th note right here. He's kind of swinging those notes. He's shuffling that. That's what makes that sound so lively and so, so cool. Like you can exaggerate it um, just to practice that. Like that. And 
then kind of try after you got that down with that shuffle almost. <laughs> Right? Then you kind of go back and uh, you can raise the tempo and you can tone down the shuffle so it kind of feels like a swing. There's a swing in there, but it's not a shuffle. That riff, that's one of the hardest riffs uh, that Angus is playing. But it's not because the 16th notes are so fast or anything that like there's much more difficult uh, riffs with other bands. Um, you know, it's not for it's not a good riff if you're a beginner and you want to learn some ACDC songs, because it is hard with the, um, with the right hand and um, you know it's just not an easy lick. But what really makes it difficult is that it's not straight sixteenths. Listen to the record; there's definitely a good portion of swing in that in that lick. And that's a difficult thing to really get that feeling down, and a lot of guitar players don't do that. They totally miss out on that. <laughs> You know, that's I'm trying to get that swing in there. If I would play it straight, um, uh, it would be kind of like this. See how um, that's just too straight. It doesn't sound good, right? It doesn't feel good. See also how my body, as soon as I start to kind of shuffle and swing that thing, my body is moving much more than if I play it straight. That's another thing about ACDC. It, it just gets your body moving. You just want to dance, move, bang your head, whatever. You know, that's what all great rock and roll bands uh, are capable of doing. They can move you. Not just your emotions, not just mentally, but also, of course, your body. You know, that's what rock and roll was in the beginning, in the 50s, uh, 50s, when rock and roll first came up. That's kind of what the idea of rock and roll was, to have music you can dance to. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it to right here. There's a bunch more songs that we could talk about. Leave some comments in the comment box below if you want me to do that. Um, as I said, Angus Young, Malcolm Young, uh, ACDC, one of the greatest rock and roll bands to have ever existed. There's so much you can learn from them if you really, you know, take a microscopic look on the riffs and on the licks. And just, you know, not try to play them um, and learn them as fast as you can, but just take a look at individual riffs and, um, of course, learn the whole song. There's benefit to that, too. Uh, again, go to my Patreon, check it out. I'm going to load uh, different lessons up there. Right now, i got my basic rhythm guitar. It's with backing tracks and with tabs, and it's going to be weekly uploads just for a couple of bucks if you want to support me. I'd be really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.